Let's first determine the size of the blocks folder which gets downloaded to the PLC. Right click on the blocks folder. Choose object properties and click on the blocks tab. 7898 bytes of load memory gets downloaded to the micro memory card or MMC. The load memory is part of the user program and is the non-volatile RAM. Work memory is the high speed memory of the PLC which contains only the executable information and is a subset of the load memory. In this case, the work memory is 5478 bytes. The system data memory, 23,862 bytes, is the hardware configuration data and also gets downloaded to the micro memory card. So how much room will this project take on the micro memory card? The user program load memory, 7,898 bytes, plus the system data memory, 23,862 bytes, equals 31,768 bytes, or approximately 32 kilobytes. The micro memory card should be at least 60% larger than this to have working room. A minimum one megabyte card would be needed. If you plan to store other documents or the archived project, the card will need to be considerably larger. Let's now find the size of our open project. The project is stored on the D drive in the courses folder with the name my underscore P-R-O-J-E. Open Windows Explorer. We will select the D drive, the courses folder, right click on my underscore P-R-O-J-E and select properties. The disk storage space of the open project is 20.1 megabytes. Click the OK button. Now let's check the size of the archive project. To see how to archive a project, you can watch the video on archiving a Step 7 project. An archive of my underscore project has been stored in the archives folder and named S7 underscore zipped underscore project. The archive size is approximately 4.4 megabytes. Most of the size comes from the HMI panel. If we wanted to place an archive of this project on the micro memory card, we would have to remove the HMI station first. The project archive right above this one has had the HMI removed and is only 674 kilobytes. In this video, you have seen how to find the size of the blocks folder, which gets downloaded to the micro memory card in the PLC. You have also seen how to find the open project size and the archived project size. And that concludes this video.